what you can learn and take from Jeff Bezos interview that can apply to your Amazon FBA business and as an entrepreneur. In this video, I will break it down to six points that you can take and apply in your business and change your mindset so you can grow and scale to the next level. Let's start. What's up guys, this is Tomer from sourcingmonster.com and welcome to another video. And if it's your first time here and you want to learn more on how you can create your own brand, selling private label products on Amazon and creating a scalable income from anywhere in the world, start now by subscribing to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, so I broke this interview that Jeff Bezos had into six parts or six points that you can take now and implement or at least look at things in a different way and implement them in the way that you actually operate your business and operate your, your life. Um, so first of all, before we actually cover the points, it is important for me to really share how I think, how I really try to improve every single like day. I try to always educate myself. And for me, Jeff Bezos, the, the, the richest guy in the world, did something right. So what I do is I try to find as much information about him, some, such as interviews or some materials that he spoke or, or conferences or anything that he really shared to really try to understand how he thought because really he created something amazing and we can learn from him as, as business people is is you know like for success he is like a raw model and someone that i look at to really try to improve and kind of mimic his his actions and success um he, it's not easy he's kind of a genius but whatever we can take and learn from him or from anyone else that is successful is is blessed and and you know welcomed you have to do that in order to be really successful always learn from people that already achieved what you want to achieve yourself. So let's jump straight to uh, really covering all the points. So the first would be take care of the fundamentals. What will really grow and make your business successful is the fundamental and not the fancy complicated things like many chats, social media presence, Shopify stores, etc. So this is something that is really important and I want you to hear it from Jeff Bezos eyes. It's on 1 minute 24. So let's jump. Things that you own, and, and uh, uh, it, but but what are the responsibilities of ownership? It, and de definitely deep inside the Amazon culture is to think about the fundamentals of the business and not the daily fluctuations in the stock price. Mm -hmm. not, there's no information in that. My main job today is I'm. So really, fundamentals is everything. You can grow your business by focusing on the right things, focusing on the things that really change the bottom line. So if you're, you're, I suggest that you focus on PPC, on listing optimization, on bringing products, product development. These are the things that will change the bottom line and really focus on them. Focus less on being really social, on, on, on social groups, social media, Facebook groups, uh, listen all day to YouTube videos like this channel unless you're a beginner and you want to really learn and when you are advanced I'm not saying don't listen to YouTube videos or to other people but just make it really small part of your day make it confined into time blocks like 20 minutes a day you just listen and try to learn new things uh, next point don't try to beat your competitor competitions or competitors focus on being the leader so 240 Jump to 40. They find Amazon very boring because we don't have enough, you know, competitive zeal. And we don't wake up. Our, uh, some annual planning processes and, so, and some companies literally start with who are our three biggest enemies. And then, you know, here's how we're going to hold them at bay or defeat them. And our, we don't have such a list at Amazon. It's not how our annual planning process works. And so, but if you're, on the other hand, if you're the kind of person who gets up in the morning and says, in the shower time, you know, what can we invent for customers and what can we do differently and how can we improve that experience and so on and so on, then, you know, then it's going to be a playground. <clears throat> so you listen to him. He's not most traditional companies and, and, and businesses operate in a way of making a list of their competitors and trying to defeat them. 
and Amazon is thinking and Jeff Bezos is acting differently. They are not focusing on their competitors. They are focusing on being really pioneers, b bringing new things to the market, improving current products and, and, and ex like user experiences, and they don't really deal with the competitors. So you want to think big and by focusing on your competitors and copying them won't make your business to the top. You always have to think out of the box and being the leader, bring unique products and improvements. So if it applies to Amazon FBA, focus on bringing really the best version of a product. If you're doing like a me too, or you're trying to really get into a market, you prove the product to a point that really no one is really will do that. Okay. Think long term and improvement or try to bundle it from a point of view on how I can make things differently, how I can really come and being unique, okay? You have to differentiate and come up with unique products. So this is something that is kind of related to this, but from a different angle. The second one that we're focused on is invention. We don't like to do me too offerings. So we want to take, we'll be inspired by something we see in the world. We're not hermetically sealed but we want to put our own twist on it. We want to try to do something better for customers that's pioneering. So where is the invention? You know, uh, why is this going to be better for customers than the already whatever is serving that need in the world today? Um, and, uh, uh, and then the willingness to think. So you see, you see how Amazon is really thinking or Jeff Bezos specifically? is coming and bringing a twist to something that is already exist. Okay, you can't come up with me two products. You have to be unique, bundle or improve the product in order to make it on Amazon and be successful selling on Amazon or on any other platform. If you think like that and you operate like that, you will be successful. Because if let's say, for example, you go after her brush, but you come and you constantly think how I can bring a new experience, a new twist to this simple hair brush. When you think, when you ask yourself questions, answers will come. So really try to think different and, and, and come up with unique offers, unique services, unique point of, of view uh, uh, to your products. Think long term. So 0 0.45. But they also, they don't matter. Part and parcel with ownership is a mentality of, of long term thinking. You know, you owners think longer term than renters do so i have a friend who rented his house to some tenants and instead of getting a christmas tree stand at christmas they just nailed the christmas tree into the hardwood floors of the house no owner would ever do that and um but sometimes they're no that's a bad tenant you know they're good they're good tenants but that's a bad tenant and it's because you know it's just the same old thing about you know nobody ever washed a rental car and um so it's really come up to really try to really treat the products you are you are launching uh, like products that you think will let's say last thing but it's launching like products that you think will last three four years in the Amazon marketplace. Think long term. Don't think like about this product. Oh, okay. This is what the competitors are doing. This is this is a little improvement that I can do or come up with really unique listing, but it's not really a big improvement. And this won't really last for a long time. Maybe you could have success, but not a success that will last for three, four years. So another example would be if you come up with a patent. This is a long-term thinking. Maybe it's not for beginners, but it's more for advanced users or like sellers. But if you're an advanced seller and you want to really lock in your product for a good couple of years, a patent, a mold, a really deep change that will really create a very high bar entry barrier for other sellers will create this long-term success and really have very difficulty to copy what your product is doing or like your, your product. Few big successes will compensate for many failures. So let's start, that's the first thing. Few big successes compensate for dozens and dozens of things that didn't work. So, you know, bold bets, AWS, Kindle, Amazon Prime, our third party seller business, all of those things are examples of bold bets that, uh, that, that did work and they pay for a lot of experiments. I so you see, he's saying that it's okay. You know what? I'll, I'll read what I wrote. So it's okay to fail. 
Even now, when I have 20 active ASINs that I'm selling through, I had at least 10 failures with products. Some I was break even, with some I was losing, but I didn't stop or it didn't stop me because for every failure, I have one success that will compensate for many products that fail. I learn plus I learn so many lessons while I fail. So I look at it really, don't be scared to, to fail. Don't be scared to launch many products. Don't be scared to really try new things because out of those things, even the things that you thought that won't work, one will work and really could kill and, and could kill it and, and have really success that will compensate for all the other failures. And if you make a list of all the new inventions or new products that Amazon came up with, you will have a long list, the same with Google and Facebook and many, many other companies that are trying many things and what works they keep and what doesn't, it's okay. It's a failure, but a f good failure, I call it, because it's a failure that bring a new knowledge and new lessons that they learned while they fail. Okay, so it's something that is super impo important. Genuine customer obsession. So 4.30, I think. I'm focusing on those things that I think make Amazon unusual. Um, and genuine customer obsession. So like every single thing you just mentioned, when, you know, when our senior executives sit down and review those programs, so really focus on customers, whether it's customer service or product development. So if it's a customer service, really try to come up with the best customer experience that you can. If someone complained that it's missing one part, it's damaged or anything like that, refund them in full, send them a new product. If it's a product development, try to read the entire reviews, try to understand how the users are using it. Try up to come with the best best, best way that you can listen to the customers and really be obsessed on serving your customers to a level that you really become obsession, really come up with that mindset. And I assure you and guarantee that your products will sell well and you will be successful. Maybe it's not a short term success, but something that will explode. So I hope you learned some lessons from Jeff Bezos, the one and only, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And, and, and really, implement them in the way that you think and the way that you operate your business. Please like this video, subscribe if you didn't subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.